Hello, friends and family from around the world. This is Mike with Daily Events Worldwide, and we are on October 1st, 2025. Welcome to Rocktober. Here we are with a pretty active sun showing the last three hours of imagery. We got this from earlier this evening. Big plasma filaments stretching from the surface on each of the quadrants, but the southwest. We also have about nine sunspots earth facing right now three of them are primed so stay tuned to this channel as we'll keep you updated on the most recent space weather events that are occurring with daily shorts and as well daily updates welcome to the daily do this is showing incoming activity and outgoing activity here big sunspot region turning away and as well coming in so as I said, some primed sunspots and an all of a sudden very active sun because just about four days ago we were talking about how quiet it was. Well, some big nasty sunspots turned into view and we're looking at these now. All this imagery brought to you by GOES-19 Satellite SDO is still, is still down. Not sure what's going on, but we got a government shutdown going on at the same time as we're being affected by a pretty intense coronal hole wind stream here, visible on 193 angstroms. Looking at sunspots right now, as you can see, nine sunspots. One turning away, 4230 is a nasty one, and as well, 4236. 4232 looks prime as well. I always like to show the magnetic field of our sun every so often as well, especially during the coronal hole wind streams, as it gets pretty wild with those solar winds. Talking about the solar winds, they were pounding our planet at over 800 kilometers per second last night. I do believe it topped out at 860. Amazing times to be alive. Thank you so much for being a part of this. Current space weather conditions under R1 and as well G2 level 2. Thanks to these solar winds coming in right now at 732 kilometers per second. Active a day, strong C-class solar flares and two minor M-class solar proton flux slightly elevated and geomagnetic activity. We are at a KP6 and a 5 throughout the day after being up to a 7 yesterday. And here is a look at our magnetosphere. It looks a little bit different now than it did earlier this morning in the short if you haven't seen it yet, please check it out. It was pretty wild, but watch in the last few images here. A little bit of activity coming from the back side of our magnetosphere. Showing now the pressure that our planet is under. And all in correlation here, all connected to space weather, earthquakes. And each time we were affected by a coronal hole, we see the increased activity and seismicity around the world. And when this started yesterday, we saw a 6.9 in the Philippines, 6.0 Indonesia. Wild times to be alive. Thank you so much for being a part of it and subscribing. Showing here now the space weather spiral. Coronal hole on the bottom here. Definitely going to be affected October 4th, 5th, 6th. Stay tuned. Hang on. Stay buckled up. Here is a look at the Aurora forecast for the next 24 to 36 hours as it's going to be very strong over parts of Western Europe, Russia, and as well through Iceland. Atlantic Plate is going to be affected here over the next little bit, already seeing the activity arise. Speaking of earthquakes, let's carry on here, showing the last 24 hours the deepest earthquake just recently happened 421 kilometer depth in Marianas Trench, south of the Bonin Islands region, Japan. Seismicity still rocking through Kamchatka and as well southward towards the Kuril Islands. Alaska active as well, moving into Anchorage, piling up minor activity there. USGS is reporting 260 earthquakes the past 24 hours. Central America was quiet yesterday. Look at it now, the Cocos Plate up into the Rivieras. And here's the North Atlantic 5.1, Rick James Ridge, followed by a 4.9 and a 4.8, just south of Iceland. As well, 4.3 here in Greece. 
Other than that, no swarms to talk about. No major rare earthquakes. Strongest earthquake past 24 hours being the 6.9 yesterday in the Philippines. Now let's have a glance at the last seven days for shakers and movers around the world. Watching for some more deep earthquakes here over this next space weather event that we're experiencing. Coronal hole has the squeeze on our planet right now. Mag magnetic field is being tested. And the plates will be affected. Especially piling up around the North American plate. You've got Kilauea volcano, which erupted yet again. Episode 35. Quite the eruption there. Got some photos coming up. Stay tuned, everybody. This is showing the last seven days around the world. Very quiet in the southern hemisphere right now. And as well, very quiet across the Eurasian plate in Africa. Something's got to give. Right after this pressure releases from the space weather event, we're going to see the release. So stay tuned, stay safe and healthy. You live in an earthquake prone zone. Just have a plan. Amazing images there of the Kilauea volcano erupting today. Here is a look at the infrared imagery showing the full eruption as the north event started to erupt early this morning after a small eruption yesterday. That's why this is episode 35. And look at that eruption, almost completely filling up the caldera with some fresh magma. Thanks everybody for watching and thanks again for subscribing. Please don't forget to give a like, maybe share, get in the comment section, let me know where you're watching from. Much love, we'll talk to you soon. Stay safe and healthy, aware and prepared. Thank you.